the actions in a double acting propeller uh, for an auto feather are slightly different than that from a single acting propeller. So in a double acting propeller like here, um, if we have an engine failure, first thing that will happen is that the centrifugal force on the flyweights uh, will collapse and the pilot valve uh, will drop. Now, if the engine has failed, the airflow over the engine will be causing the propeller to wind up. So our RPM, our RPM will have dropped off, let's say, from 1,020 RPM, just down to, say, 20 RPM. So the, the propeller now will be driving the engine, and we will have negative torque. And that negative torque will be being picked up by the um, torque sensing circuit and the negative torque switch will close and that will send a signal to uh, the pilot valve lift so we'll get an electrical signal and that's going to lift the pilot valve up and when the pilot valve gets lifted up the signal will also start the feathering pump. So we have an electrical pump supplying the power. And the electrical pump will take oil from the engine sump. And that oil then will pass out through the coarse pitch tube, hit the piston, cause the piston to move back. As the piston moves back, the oil will drain from this side of the of the piston and then will drain back into uh, the engine. And the Propeller will go to the feather position. Okay, so that's how it, how it's achieved with a with this double acting propeller. Uh, we use an electrical pump to pump oil out to one side of the, the piston to get it go to the feather position. So let's assume the engine is feathered now, and we want to try and, and restart the engine. So. Um, Want to take it out of the, the feather position. So the pilot will move the condition lever up into the constant speed range. This will cause the pilot valve uh, uh, to drop. The uh, feathering pump will be switched on. And now the oil coming from the feathering pump will come down through the fine pitch tube. Okay, so the oil comes in here, it comes down and out through the fine pitch tube. It hits this side of the piston, pushes the piston forward, and the oil on this side of the piston drains back, back into the engine uh, sump. So when the oil from the feathering pump hits this side of the piston, cause the piston to move to the uh, fine position and the repeller will go into uh, a fine angle. This will cause it to, uh, to windmill and it makes it easier then for the starter motor to turn the engine over and to get starting uh, again. So that's unfeathering in a double acting 